Hello aviators, welcome back to another episode of A Junior Mechanic. Today, we're gonna talk about another type of maintenance forms and publications, the Advisory Circular or AC. The Advisory Circular or AC is a type of publication offered by the, the Federal Aviation Administration to provide guidance for compliance with airworthiness regulations, pilot certification, operational standards, training standards, and any other rules within the 14 CFR Aeronautics and Space title. Here's an example of an advisory circular. These provides advice and guidance to explain particular regulatory requirements of the Civil Aviation Safety Regulations 1998 or CASR or Associated Manual of Standards or MOS. In reading an advisory circular, the first part of the number identifies the subject matter area of the AC and corresponds to the appropriate 14 CFR part. For example, an AC on certification. Pilots and flight and ground instructors is numbered as AC 61 to 65 E. The advisory circular is not mandatory and does not constitute a regulation. Nothing in the advisory circular changes the legal requirement for public aircraft operators to comply with the statute. It rather gives you guidance on the regulations. What are the parts of an advisory circular? First is the subject. It is where you will see the title of the advisory circular. Next is the date. It is where you can see when the advisory circular is released. Next is the advisory circular number. It has three parts. Part 1 is the subject matter area. The first part of the number identifies the subject matter area of the AC and corresponds to the appropriate part on the 14 CFR. Part 2 is the sequence. Since ACs are numbered sequentially within each subject area, the second part of the number beginning with the dash identifies the sequence. Part 3 is the revision. The third part of the number is a letter assigned by the originating office and shows the revision sequence if an AC is revised. The first version of an AC does not have a revision letter. Next is the initiated by. It is the lists of who issued the advisory circular like the Aviation Flight Standards District or AFS and lastly, the body information. It contains the purpose, cancellation, and the related reading material. The remaining of the circular will discuss information about the subject matter. Do you want to suggest any topic regarding other types of aircraft maintenance forms and publications? Let us know in the comments section below, also be sure to check our other videos, the technical standard order. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.